Hi, and welcome back to Oncology for Med Students. This uh, next set of videos is on the molecular basis of cancer and seeks to explain how damage to cells can lead to cancerous changes, what the precise changes that need to occur to cells for them to become cancerous are, and how we think those changes might come about. This first video is aimed at explaining that damage to DNA in the form of mutations is the basis of cancerous changes. So in the previous videos we mentioned that changes within cells can lead to the formation of neoplasms, new growths, also known as tumours. We know that malignant tumours have certain abilities that make them dangerous. Above all, this is the ability to invade tissues around them and spread to other parts of the body and form other tumours, which is known as metastasis. We know that the damage to cells begins this process, but where does this damage occur? Here we can see some normal cells, one of which becomes damaged or undergoes a malignant change or transformation and goes on to form a malignant neoplasm or cancer. The first important concept is that tumours develop from changes within one single cell. If you could trace back the generations of all the cells within the tumour, you would find that they all have a common ancestor, in this case, the red cell here on the left. As the damaged cell divides, it passes on the changes and the abilities those changes that have given it to the following generations of tumour cells. It follows logically then that these changes would happen in a part of the cell that's passed on to each generation of new cells. And of course, we find that is the case. So the vast majority of the changes that lead to cancer occur in the cell's DNA, which is found in the cell's nucleus. Within DNA are sequences that provide a code, or if you like, a recipe, for making proteins. These are called genes. Through the process of gene transcription and translation, the cell is able to produce proteins. It's really beyond the scope of this talk to explain exactly how this happens, but there are lots of good videos out there on YouTube if you want to have a closer look or if you need to brush up on any of the details. So why is this important? It's vital because proteins or the proteins that the cell creates determines what that cell does. It determines whether the cell is a brain cell or a liver cell or a skin cell. They determine the shape of the cell, what the cells produce and how the cells react to signals from other cells and countless other functions. To put it simply, it's the proteins that a cell produces that make it what it is. And by changing the proteins a cell produces, you can change what the cell does. So what happens when genes, or the code for a protein, get damaged? Something that damages the DNA of a cell permanently changes the structure of the gene, the recipe for the proteins, and that cell goes on to produce a faulty protein. The damage that occurs to the gene is known as a mutation. The cell, this leads to the cell producing an abnormal protein that will function in a different way. And as we just said, a change in a protein means a change in what the cell does.
What then happens is the change to the gene, the mutation, is passed on from the original cell to all of its daughter cells. So, to summarise, in this brief introduction, we've learnt that tumours develop from the proliferation of a single abnormal cell. And this damage occurs to the DNA, and more specifically, to the genes that go on to produce faulty proteins which change the way the cell behaves. This is why people consider cancer to be a genetic disease, because the damage occurs at the level of the gene. It doesn't mean that all cancers are inherited. The damage can occur in lots of different ways, including exposure to certain things in the environment. But where we see the damage is at the level of the gene. So we found out where damage might occur that can lead to cancer, these DNA mutations. But so far, we've only really talked about what mutations are in general. And as you may well be aware, mutations can cause all sorts of changes within cells. Just because a cell has a mutation doesn't mean it will become cancerous. The mutations that the cell must gain must give it the ability to do things that cancer cells do. But what are these abilities? And that's basically what we're going to be beginning to cover in the next talk, Hallmarks of Cancer. So, thanks again for watching. If you've found this video helpful, please uh, hit the subscribe button and check out the other videos on the channel. Thank you.